Alright guys, so today we're going to do a review video on this Yes Welder. It is a YWM160. It's a MIG stick and lift TIG welder. I'm not going to review the lift TIG portion of it. I'm sure most of you aren't even going to use it for that purpose. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't even know how to TIG weld. Never even tried. Let me show you this. Here's where you stick your wire. And I am running a Vivor wire in here. This is a flux cord wire. We're doing this gasless just like most of you DIYers are going to be. And then we're going to take a look at how this guy works. Here's your cover. Power switch is on the back. It's where you plug in your gas. If you had gas, we don't. I'm running mine on 110 right now. So we're going to come over here. I have mine on smart mode. So I literally just took this thing out of the box, put it on MIG welding, gasless. That's my wire size, 35 uh, thousandths. And then I've got on 2T function. That's just your standard function there if you want to look up the 4T functions where it stays working while you have it turned off. You can do that. You can see I got some practice welds here. Really, I just kind of, those are my pulls. That was my push. Caught my foot on pretty well fire with the little beads from being a flux cord. But I'm going to try it with this welding rod here, a 6013 welding rod here in a moment. We're also going to run this MIG function here with the gasless MIG. So I'm going to go and show you guys how this thing welds. All right, some recording here. Just one hand, it ain't gonna be as pretty, I'd say. Oh. Obviously, one handed, so didn't really hold it steady. We're gonna hang the back up on my hook here. So, let's take a look at that. I mean, and I'm just going just like that whenever I'm welding. You see all little balls, of course, that's flux cord. That's what you get. But I'm just showing you guys this little welder here. You're just using it like on your vehicle or you got a little minor repair to do. I mean, dead gum, this little son of a gun is awesome. So that's the big function. I'm going to try it on my, I think I have eighth inch rods here. I'm going to try it on an eighth inch rod. Uh, we're going to see how it works I'm here. I'm going to show you this setup here for MIG. You do have to move this little plug and plug it in there, and then there's your ground, and this is your lead. So we're going to go and set it up for the stick. Here are what your leads look like in your ground cable. It's a little groove in that round piece. And I unplug the MIG function. Let's go ahead and power her off. Give her a second to shut down. All right, now let's go ahead and plug her in. Around. So that stick is set up. Let's power back on. Here, stick. And I'm just kind of play around with those settings here. So let's just leave it at that. You see, I've got my stick in the positive here. See, it's red back there, and there's my negative. So let's go ahead and check her out. So there's of my first beat. I did that one off camera. Didn't want to look like a fool when I was recording the first time. I already beat all the slag off. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. I don't really see it happening. <laughs> but we're going to give her a shot. Obviously, you know, stick you can run a little dirty, but I'm going to go and give it a little clean. So these are my MIGs up here. It's my stick. I didn't even change the settings on it. I just left it right at 70.3 volts, 117 amps. So we're going to try to do this one hand. Let me put my other glove on it. Guys, I am not a professional welder by any means. Let's take our freaking hood up. Get that slag beat off. So uh, this little welder is awesome. That is freaking phenomenal. Actually, I think I like the look of these stick welds better than my MIGs. But of course, that's just me throwing on a smart mode. I, haven't, I didn't even try to adjust this thing. I just turned this son of a gun on. Now you could obviously make more, you know, you can make your adjustments, but I'm actually pretty impressed with this guy. So yeah, there you have it. This Yes Welder YWM160, I'm not sponsored on this. I will leave a link in the description for this welder. So, I mean, I'll get a kickback off the link. But 
I had to pay for this welder and I think it's like 160, 170 bucks right now before tax. So that beats Harbor Freight, I'd say, for how cheap that is. So guys, like, subscribe, click that link, go buy this welder. Y'all have a great rest of your day.